This is a stenciling tutorial for version 2.0 of Poyomi Toon Shader. More specifically, we'll be covering how to get your eyes and eyebrows to render above your hair. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your eyes and eyebrows and your hair are on their own materials. So go to your eyes and eyebrows, check and see if they're on their own material, and then go to your hair and check if it's on its own material. If these aren't on their own materials, then you can go in programs like 3ds Max, Maya, or Blender and separate them yourself. Next we have to make sure that the eyes are on opaque or transparent. So go to Poyomi, Tune 2, Opaque. If we want the eyes to be opaque, transparent if they're transparent, that depends on your use case. But for this, we're going to be opaque. Then make sure the hair is on the same one, but stenciled. So our eyes are opaque, so we want to be stencil, opaque. If your eyes are transparent, you want to be stencil, transparent. So what we're going to do here is make the eyes mask out the hair. So the eyes and eyebrows are going to write to the stencil buffer, a specific value that you choose. And then the hair is going to look for that value and then not draw itself wherever the eyes and eyebrows are. So select your eyes and eyebrows, go into stencil, Pick a unique value. I'm going to pick 74. This is the value that the hair is going to look for. Stencil compare function should be always, and your stencil operation should be replace. So your eyes are going to always replace the stencil value with 74. Now go into your hair, go to stencil, then go and set the stencil value to the same value. Set the compare function to not equal and the stencil operation to keep so now your hair is rendering wherever the value is not equal to 74 and because your eyes are setting the value to 74 your hair is not rendering where the eyes are you can do the opposite and set it to equal so now your hair will only render where your eyes on eyebrows are obviously not what we want so let's set it back to not equal and that is all you need to do for that effect Thanks for watching.